welcome to my channel welcome to my youtube channel and uh, today we'll be learning how to make this <laughs> scrunchies headband and uh, as you can see this is the trending thing in the omb space and i'm very sure you want to learn if you're a newcomer on my channel kindly subscribe and click on the notification bells i'll be uploading tutorial videos very um for the tutorial we'll be needing a pair of scissors our tape rule um, one inch elastic band and our fabric so you can use any kind of fabrics for this eight band but i'm using a satin fabric right now so i already cut out what i need i'll be needing like um, one big piece this is about 40 inches long and about six six inches wide six inches wide there about so i'm going to be sewing this on fold so i have one here and then i have um the lining for the main fabric is about 15 inches long and um two and a half five inches wide and i have my um band stand my band stand is also 15 inches long and it is six six inches wide so what i'm going to do right now first off i'm going to sew my band stand and my main fabric so i'm going to be sewing it on fold i'm going to be so the first thing is we sew like this and your band stand so you sew like this so yeah as you can see i ready i ready so this so i'm going to turn out to turn it out so after turning it out this is what i have and i'm going to turn my band stand yes yeah, so after turning it out the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to measure my elastic band so i'm going to be measuring measuring about seven inches long without stretching then i'm going to cut out like this and i'm going to use my safety pin so i'm going to insert this into this and while inserting it you know remember to hold it down i want to hold it down so that that's one hinge like this so that you can hold it like so can hold it down so you hold it down with your sewing machine you hold down then hold it down so after doing that this is what you have so we are done with that so i'm going to use the lining so the lining i'm going to insert into the main fabrics it's as simple all you just need to do is to pay rapt attention and you get it so like i said you hold this down too because you don't want it falling inside the band the bigger band so you hold it down too as you can see so so you are going to hold it down on this side too so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go and hold down hold down hold everything down i'm going to hold everything down so as you can see 
We're almost done. Can you see that? After holding down, this is the effect I'm already having. This is the effect I am already having. So you can make it big, you can make it wide. Depends on how um, wide you want to want to be and how conservative you are actually. So the next thing we are going to do now is I'm going to place this. So here yeah, you need to pay attention. So I'm going to place this. I'm going to place this um, band stand in the middle like this. Can you see the middle like this? Then you fold this side on it. Then you fold this other side on it. Then you can hold down. It's your pin. Then you do that on the other side too I'm going to place place the band stand in the middle like this then you fold like this fold like this can you see place this in the middle then you fold like this then fold like this let me do it again so that you don't get confused Place this in the middle, in the middle, then you fold like this, then you fold like this, then you can pin, pin it down. So you are going to go and sew like this, then pull it out. After pulling out, this would go inside the scrunchies. So after sewing, after pulling out, you see, the fact is going to go inside like this so our headband is ready and beautiful so, just can see it's ready and beautiful as you can see so i'll see you again in my next video remember to subscribe and click on the notification bells and interact with my videos till we meet again i remain with you bye